Good day, my dear grade tons. Today, we are going to talk about this interesting topic in geomorphology the intrusive igneous activity and associated features. Yes, my dear grade tons. First and foremost, we're going to talk about how intrusive igneous activities occur. So, they occur uh, by the process where magma cools and solidifies beneath the S surface, forming what various intrusive igneous rock formation. So magma is this yellowish thing on this diagram. So when this yellow thing cools and it will solidify to form what a strong material, which is what which is referred to what as an igneous rock. Yes. So magma will solidify and form what what we call an igneous rock. So okay. Hopefully that doesn't understand how what igneous rocks are formed. So we're going to talk about three types of igneous rock. The first one is going to be the batholic, batholites. Yes, so the batholites are what the largest intrusive bodies, often what composed of granite that form when massive amounts of magma solidified depth. So batholites are the hugest or the biggest rocks that can be found underneath. Yes. So here are the batholites, if I may show you. These are types of batholith right here. You can see that this is a huge chunk of rock here. It's called referred to a resort as a batholith. So this resort is just magma that's solidified and cooled what under the earth surface. So if we want to understand what is magma and what is what is lava and all of that and the types of rocks, you can go to my past videos that are there in my playlist. So yes, the second type of rock. The second type of igneous rock is the lacolith. The lacolith that is referred to as a dome shaped intrusion that force overlaying rock upward, creating what a distinct mound or landscape. See, yes. so dome instructed or is what it is a what it is a lacolith. So let me show you an example of a lacolith. So here is a lac here is what you call a lacolith. Yes. So Lacolith can see it as what well. I like to say it is an umbrella. If one to if in a test they give you a diagram and they say identify a localith, you will see it as what well. as a top of as a, as a umbrella shaped type of formation. Yes. So that is what that is a localith. That is the second one type of igneous intrusive rock. So the last one that we're going to, to talk about today is what is the lopolith. Yes, it is, a, it is a saucer shaped intrusion that form when magma intrudes between the sedimentary layers and the underlying layer sinks due to their weight. So, what are lopolith? Lopolith are these rocks here. Sometimes I like to refer to them as a bowl or a saucer because they are shaped as a bowl or a saucer. So, yes. Those are the three types of rocks, yes. So if they might give you a diagram and say identify three types of igneous, igneous intrusive rocks, you, may, you, you can name what? The batholith, the lapolith, and what? And the local, the lacolith. So yes, that is, what, that is the end of the lesson. The small chapter, but make sure to understand it thoroughly in order to what to pass the examination. Going deeper, so I'm going to go in deeper explaining how lava, lava lava comes to how magma comes to be lava and how magma leads to what leads to different types of rock. But for grade 10, please make sure that you understand this topic. I thank you.